A man is saved no faster than he gains knowledge. The best way to obtain truth and wisdom is not to ask from books, but to go to God in prayer and obtain divine teaching. When God commands, do it. And thus we see that by small means the Lord can bring about great things. God judges men according to the use they make of the light which he gives them. If men do not comprehend the character of God, they do not comprehend themselves. Sometimes the Lord brings us low before he can lift us higher. We say that the Constitution of the United States is a glorious standard. It is founded in the wisdom of God. Shall we not go on in such great a cause? Perhaps I am meant to swim in deep waters, better deep than shallow. I teach them correct principles and they govern themselves. When we are accomplishing the good, the greatest opposition comes. Kindness is our religion. By proving contraries, truth is made manifest. Whatever happens, the Lord is in it. An angel of God never has wings. God sees the secret springs of human action and knows the hearts of all living. If you live up to your privileges, the angels cannot be restrained from being your associates. I don't blame anyone for not believing me. If I had not experienced it myself, I would not have believed it myself. For a man to be great, he must not dwell on small things, though he may enjoy them. Adam fell that men might be, and men are, that they might have joy. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Oh that he would show you that he can pierce you, and with one glance of his eye he can smite you to the dust. And it came to pass that Limhi and his people returned to the city of Nephi, and began to dwell in the land again in peace. And I would exhort you, my beloved brethren, that ye remember that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And men are, that they might have joy. And remember, after ye are reconciled unto God, that it is only in and through the grace of God that ye are saved. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld many waters, and they divided the Gentiles from the seed. And thus we see that by small means the Lord can bring about great things. He ruleth high in the heavens, for it is his throne, and this earth is his footstool. Persecution has not stopped the progress of truth, but has only added fuel to the flame. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Awake, my soul, no longer droop in sin. Rejoice, O my heart and give place no more for the enemy of my soul. Therefore, woe be unto him that is at ease in Zion. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. Thy men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty in the war. Lehi and his people arrive in the promised land. I have spoken plainly that ye cannot err. And it shall be given unto you, power over that spirit, and you shall proclaim against that spirit with a loud voice that it is not of God. Behold, 
You have my gospel before you, and my rock, and my salvation. The guilty taketh the truth to be hard, for it cutteth them to the very center. Behold, the very powers of hell would have been. Wherefore, let us be faithful in keeping the commandments of the Lord. The Book of Mormon is a volume of Holy Scripture comparable to the Bible. Jesus is the Christ, the Eternal God. Frame of pickets built upon the timbers round about, and they were strong and high. And he caused towers to be erected. Lamanites that seek to destroy the people of Nephi. Cease ye from man, whose breath is in his nostrils, for wherein is he to be accounted of? And if so, this flesh must have laid down to rot and to crumble to its mother earth, to rise no more. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Power of God, and many were brought to repentance. Yea, and as often as my people repent will I forgive them their trespasses against me. The bricks are fallen down but we will build with hewn stones. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. The voice of the Lord, saying unto you, in that day, Come. Know ye not that there are more nations than one? And I pray the Father in the name of Christ that many of us, if not all, may be saved in his kingdom at that great and last day. But if it be defiled I will not come into it, and my glory shall not be there, for I will not come into unholy temples. Friendship is one of the grand fundamentals of Mormonism. Trust in God, always take care of each other. We're not just building a temple here, the Lord is building us. My pride has brought me very low. All our losses will be made up if we are faithful. The greatest responsibility in this world that God has laid upon us is to seek after our dead. The Lord takes raw materials, shapes them and refines them. We trust in God, and go on. Twenty-five Adam fell that men might be, and men are, that they might have joy. Nothing but the best for the Lord. And my father dwelt in a tent. Never exact of a friend in adversity what you would require in prosperity. My brethren, if thou endure thy trials well, thou shalt be exalted. And see that ye have faith, hope, and charity, and then ye will always abound in good works. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is safe. Thy neck is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. The Lord has made the sea our path, and we are upon an isle of the sea. One of the grand fundamental principles of Mormonism is to receive truth, let it come from whence it may. Therefore, cheer up your hearts, and remember that ye are free to act for yourselves. And it came to pass, that the God of heaven looked upon the residue of the people, and wept.